This is Leak Seeker 82B, and we are going to demonstrate how to find the location of a shorted capacitor on a multi layer board that has only ground planes and power planes and does not have any individual lands. Uh, we're going to demonstrate, for example, if you look at where I'm pointing here, is that there were originally four capacitors soldered into this motherboard, which we've unsoldered just for clarity because uh, we know these capacitors, when they're working normally, aren't shorted anyway, so whether they're in the board or not, it's not going to make any difference as far as leak seeker is concerned. Uh, but as you can see, where one of the capacitors would have been, I've intentionally installed a 3.3 ohm resistor to simulate a shorted capacitor. Now the theory here is that since all four of these capacitors are clearly in parallel, and it's on a board that has no lands in it, just ground planes, that theoretically there's no way to know where the short is. Your ohmmeter, as you will see when I demonstrate looking at the DVM, no matter which pad I go to, there's a 4.2 ohm reading at this first capacitor, and here's the second capacitor, same 4.2 ohm reading, and here's the short capacitor, same 4.2 ohm short, and of course the fourth capacitor, same thing. So we've demonstrated that even a $300 DVM doesn't have enough resolution since the difference between each pad is probably in the micro ohms. It's very, very small. Leak Seeker will actually tell you which pad is bad. So here's the procedure. We're going to put Leak Seeker first on the two wire test because we're going to want it to calibrate it in. And also, we're not on the high definition mode. We're pushed in because high definition, if you recall from the previous video, is when we pull the knob out. So we're going to start in the standard mode, automatic. You can see the automatic lights on, so it's going to automatically find the correct window and push to start. And now it doesn't matter where we start. Again, if you see, I'm just going to start at this very last or first capacitor, depending on your point of view. Now we're going to just let it calibrate until it finds the window it wants. Now, in the two-wire mode, it doesn't have enough resolution. Here's the second capacitor, and notice it's the same tone. Here's the shorter capacitor, same tone, and there's a fourth one. Not enough resolution. That's 20 milliohms. Well, we're going to lock that window, and now we're going to put it 20 micro-ohms. And now, again, we don't know which one of these is shorted. Well, we're pretending we don't know. And we're just going to go to the first one, and we're going to adjust the offset to get a reading somewhere that's comfortable. And we hear the tone. Now, we get closer. Notice, much higher. Here's the short, the short capacitor. We're out of range. We're, we're actually, let's go a little lower at the offset. And here we're going a little further. Lower reading. So again, if we go to the short, it's going to be the highest reading. And we get a really good connection here. Okay, you can see it's on almost the very last end of it. If we go a little further away, much lower reading, go even further, much lower reading. So you can see that even on a multi-layer board, and this is probably a standard four, five, or six layer computer motherboard, with no individual traces, you can find the one shorted capacitor right next to all the other good capacitors. And that's how Leak Seeker works in the high definition mode with a four-layer board. Thank you.